All right, I wanted to make a video that really showcases the back office and everything that's back there and what you can find and where you can find it. And I'm just gonna start actually on the, the main page. First thing you see, obviously, when you log in, your information's there, your ID, your current rank. Um, when you're diamond and above and you start getting diamonds underneath you, your qualification status, that's what that will mean, whether you're in one star qualification, two star, et cetera, et cetera. Um, your upline sponsor, your upline diamond, your upline star diamond. For me, it happens to all just be Danielle. Um, your projected personal volume, as well as your customer's personal volume and your team volume amounts. Then under my alerts, how many new coaches are in your organization, which means anyone that's being added to your downline. If you've got any coaches that are projected to be inactive, your new customers, your new personally sponsored coaches. Um, if you've got any coaches whose ranks have changed, whether they've jumped up in rank or whether they've lost rank, uh, your new leads and to clarify this one especially, it's not the customer leads that you get once you hit Emerald and the other qualifications that are there. This is some random person who went to your website and where it click where you can click on contact me, they type in whatever, and that's a new lead. You they give you the information to be able to um, respond to that prospect. And then any new emails that you might have. Um, and you honestly should be living in your back office every day to notice, you know, any sort of changes in there. This, you know, shows your success club information, your team volume info, um, your personal volume info. Again, something to keep your eye out on here because anytime the volume changes, um, good to check your customer orders and see what was ordered and reach out to your customers. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Breaking coach news, again, another reason you should always be checking your back office. It's usually updated Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, sometimes they'll throw in a random Tuesday or Thursday update if they've got something important they need to um, throw out there, like the back office being out of order or registering for an event, what have you. Um, and then you have the video library, which is kind of hidden in plain sight. Um, it has the featured videos for the month. It's usually the challenge pack video um, or any uh, any of the top news that's kind of happening for the month is featured down there. Or you can click on your language of choice and it brings you to the full video library. And you can use these tabs for what you're looking for. Um, Coach Training Academy has all the different training videos, the products. You can click on that. And if you've got someone who's interested in Brazil Butt Lift, since it's what I clicked on, you can go to the videos and you can share it with your customer. Um, so become familiar with the different categories in the video library. It's a great resource. Um, especially because videos do a better job at telling customers what they need to know versus you word vomiting on them. Um, another thing that kind of gets hidden in plain sight is being able to modify your Shakeology order straight from your back office. And then this is a you know rotating banner with important info that they want you to know about. Um, you can click on if you want. Now, as a new coach, um, and really all coaches, I understand the back office can be overwhelming. There's a lot there. So don't feel you need to learn it all at once. If you're brand new, go to the start here because that's where you should get started. You've got the welcome from the CEO. You've got a link that even tells you how to get started. And then it actually gives you a tour of the website. Then I would also jump over to news and training. Don't worry so much about all of them. 
go into the coach training academy though. The coach training academy is where you learn the basics of the business. Um, it's got, <clears throat> sorry, it's got the essentials for you, teaches you how to invite, how to earn money, um, what it means to run a challenge group. Those leads lessons um, are so important when it comes to qualifying for the different leads. Um, and then you've got the My Business Reports uh, that are useful to you. And then, of course, any sort of reference materials are there for you as well. Um, and if you also go into, no, oh, sorry, if you click on the reference materials, it's got the different PDFs and videos for you right there. Um, so important for you to go through. And another thing as a coach, new coaches and even the veteran ones, are your websites are pretty important. I'm going to actually go to the Shakeology and Ultimate Reset ones first because there's not much that you changed there um, month to month. Oh, come on, computer. <sighs> there we go. So here your Shakeology website will pop up. The only things you really need to edit, you know, are your name, your phone number, your email address. And then that's that's it. It's your contact information. And if you want, you can choose um, which logo you want to have go there. And I want to say there's really not that many. Um, I think I put that in there. Or no, that's the one that corporate wants you to put in um, or has for you to put in. So that one's an easy one to edit. Same with Ultimate Reset. The only things you're really editing, oh, and I'm going to have to go back into this one apparently. Your name, I'm assuming here you can add in your phone number. And I'll go ahead and do that. And even an email address. Huh, okay. Sorry you're learning along with me on this one. I don't go to this web page very often, so. Again, because most of the info is static. It's just your name and your contact info. All right, so I've got that info saved. Yay. Now, though, is your coach website. And this is where I do go into it pretty much every month. And what I do change is what's on the side here. Usually whatever challenge pack is being promoted for the month, you're able to put, and I think they call them banners or badges, whatever the case might be. And you're able to highlight that on your page. It doesn't have to be the challenge pack. It can be whatever you want it to be. You get to choose between a lot of options, and I'll show you. Hold on. So, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Sorry, let's try this again. So it will usually have the different challenge packs as your first options. Um, 
But if you want to highlight a specific program because you know you're doing a 21 day fix challenge group that month or what have you, or you're doing the ultimate reset, you can highlight those instead. Um, again, I mean, you can take the time to kind of scroll through, but you get to choose what you want to put there. Um, if you want to just highlight challenge packs in general, so it's an easy way for your customers to find the challenge packs instead of going into your, your shop, it automatically leads them to that part of the shop. All right. Now going into my business. This is another sort of important tool. My preferred placement is where you're going to place your coaches. If you're brand new, it really almost doesn't matter because you're going to be switching back and forth um, between your two legs. So that way you become an Emerald coach. Um, and then after that, Christine Dwyer honestly has a really excellent video about coach placement. Um, I'll try to put the link in the group that tells you how you can put, put for rank advancement, then for your volume, and then rank advancement again. Um, and I usually just do right or left. Some people do the, you know, weak leg, um, you know, weak outside leg, whatever. I personally just have stuck to right and left and people have ended up on the outside anyways. Um, your downline shows you your whole family or your own personally sponsored coaches. Um, your volume goes back to honestly what's on the front screen. Your customers, you can search for all of your customers. You can do an advanced customer search. Um, and from this screen is where you can reach out and you can send, you know, weekly or monthly, however often you want to reach out, um, bulk emails, or you send an e-card and it can do it to your whole list of customers. Um, the orders, again, your own personal orders, your customer orders. Uh, this is nice to, your personal ones are nice to check just in case you forget your Shakeology ship date or something like that. Again, the customer orders, anytime you see your volume change, it's important to go into here so that you can reach out to your customer and say, you know, I know what her order is, but we'll pretend she doesn't order two bags every month. Um, but go into her, you know, into the thing and say, oh, I see that you ordered Shakeology. That's really great, you know. Let me know when it comes in or what made you decide to start a conversation about whatever it is that they've ordered. Um, and you can follow up with them in regards to that. And I'll show you where you, there's a great follow up tool as well. Um, your earnings and commissions. So the, those both get updated on Thursdays. Your commissions are what happened during the week. Um, that whatever sales that you made, whatever bonuses you've earned, um, whatnot. And then your earnings get paid the following week. So this 115.19 was actually my commission for the previous business week and it gets paid the following Thursday. Your earnings are always a week in arrear. Um, and then you've got your different qualifications. Success club qualification kind of mirrors what's on the front page. Um, and then your lead program qualifications. This is important to check. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is important to check to make sure you're qualified to receive the various leads. Right now I'm just qualified to receive the customer leads if I'd hit success club. I would be getting the success club leads as well. Um, when I achieve my diamond drink again, you know, I'll be qualified for coach connection. And then this too, again, is where you can find those leads videos that explain to you all about the leads programs. Um, very, very, very valuable information. I don't necessarily do anything with saved reports, but 
there are different reports that you can run for your business. It's one of the videos in Coach Training Academy. Um, your forms and documents. Just in case for some reason online's not working, you can use this form to modify your Shakeology order. There's the coach application, the challenge pack free coach application form. That's for if you have a customer who already purchased a challenge pack, it doesn't matter when it was, they can fill out this form, they pay the $40 fee, um, send that form in, and then they get refunded that fee. So they don't have to necessarily buy a second challenge pack in order to get that coach fee waived. Um, the Team Beach Body Military Coach. Again, military coaches, they actually get all of their fees waived, but first they do pay that enrollment fee. It gets refunded once um, the different forms are sent in and their monthly fee gets waived. Um, I've never had to use the transfer form, but you can see what it is. Um, the cancellation form, the coach account management consent form. That is if you are using a family member, be it a spouse or a parent, um, and you're actually managing their account, that's the consent form for you to do that. You've got the product catalog. You've got um, price list and product links. This is actually really comes in handy, and I'll click on it real quick. Um, oh, there's the picture of me. But this teaches you how to build your own link. You know, a popular question we get in the group is, you know, how do I get the link for the three-day refresh? Or how do I get the link for, um, you know, any sort of product? Keep this saved on your computer because, I mean, yeah, it's kind of time-consuming, but it teaches you how to build your own link um, if you can't find it in FAQ or anything like that. Another thing to save to your computer is honestly coach policies and procedures and the compensation plan. Um, you don't have to memorize it, but it's good to have in handy because it answers a lot of questions for you, including explaining the different ranks and how you achieve them. And then these are just the highlights. Um, and this one shows the different potential earnings. And then, of course, this is a disclaimer that, um, you know, not all earnings are guaranteed kind of thing, sort of like when they show the results. So that's your My Business tab. The My Desk tab, the only one I really use, or the only two things I should say I really use for this, my email takes you to your email box where you can send, you know, your individual emails or follow, do your follow-ups through here. And then the e-cards where you can create an e-card if you're not necessarily looking to send it to all of your customers. Um, you want to send a specific one to, you know, one or two customers, what have you. All right, under sales and marketing. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. You've got the various business tools. And actually, this pretty much shows you everything that's listed under here. Um, again, you'll notice it's up very similar to what's under the training. Um, and they actually have, let me see. Sarah, maybe it's not under this one. All right, well, I'll let you guys explore. I, I can't go through every everything. Um, when it comes to the Beachbody Challenge, you've got the toolkit that explains what a Beachbody Challenge is. Um, what the challenge packs are. It explains to you the coach website banner, um, which is what I pretty much showed you before. There's a video from Carl. Um, there's the coach guides that explain it. You know, again, different talking points. It has the 
five-step process. It even has the Coach Training Academy again. Um, so a lot of great resources just under the Beach Body Challenge Toolkit that teaches you about how to run a Beach Body Challenge. And then it has the different guides for you. So if you are running a 21-day fix challenge group, there's a guide for you to begin the program or before it really begins, one for your participants, and then there's a document with posts for literally every single day of the week of the program that you can post in the group and use that, become familiar with it before you kind of start making it your own. Then you've got the different product toolkits. And again, same sort of thing. And I'll choose 21 Day Fix just as an example. Um, There's a whole training guide on them. There's talking points. There's videos. And again, has the challenge group guides. So a lot of different info given to you in the back office that helps you um, promote your different programs. You've got the different certifications. You've got success stories. So, and these are actually um, more of like coach success stories and whatever. When it comes to the different products, I honestly recommend every product has a Facebook page. So again, using 21 Day Fix as an example, if you go to the 21 Day Fix Facebook page, Go to their photos. It will have success stories there for you. Um, The Shakeology website has Shakeology success stories there for you. Um, So this doesn't look like it's been updated all that often. I don't know if I would necessarily use it. The different logos. You are able to download these onto your computer and use them um, in your different marketing materials or whatnot that you create, or you can put them on your websites. So those are all the logos for you. And the different web tools, um, this changes the background of your Twitter and your YouTube. Um, And then these are different ad banners that you can add to your websites. Not something I honestly use very often to tell you the truth. So that's under sales and marketing. Um, And then sort of one that you can look into are your incentive and rewards. It will show the current promotions going on. It gives you an overview of the different... um, rewards and recognition that you can receive, the success club, what it means to become a premier coach, what it means to become an elite coach. It has the different recognitions. Um, You can go on the side and it will tell you, you can click on and see who the top coach was, who the 2013 winners were, um, the 2014 current Uh, Elite 10 leaderboard. And then two, you can check the different ranks, like who's a 10-star diamond. Oh, and it it goes between the different ranks. And I don't know who's turned 10-star diamond recently to uh, choose a week. But that's just for, you know, whenever you turn diamond, you can choose the week that you turn it and you'll be able to find your name. It's just kind of cool. And then this one goes into success club and what success club means. And honestly, for success club, the biggest thing to really um, remember with that and not to overcomplicate it is that you're simply helping three different people every single month. So what three people can you help that will help you achieve success club? Um, And the reason it's three people is because if you do two challenge packs and one Shakeology order, or even three challenge packs, you're automatically, you know, at Success Club 5. So, you know, easier almost to kind of think and 
the, those terms than it is to think in terms of points, in my humble opinion. And then last but not least, here's your success tab. Um, you actually pay an extra dollar per month in your coach fees um, for this tab. It's a digital subscription to Success Magazine or Success On Demand, as they call it. Um, it's normally, I want to say, like $4 a month. So we get it, you know, at a discount. Um, they even have Team Beachbody specific things. Um, great articles, you know, audio videos that you can watch. They also have something called Success 101, which I've honestly been doing. You'll see. Um, 30 Days of Mentoring from Darren Hardy. And you get, it's honestly, I think about 30 minutes a day. And it's, I'm loving it so far. Darren Hardy, I think, is my favorite mentor um, out of the personal development that I've been doing. Um, so I used to honestly not utilize this very much. But it's part of personal development. And personal development is one of the vital behaviors. So don't forget that this tab is here. Um, it's very, very useful. Um, and I believe that's all I want to say about the back office. You know, again, as new coaches, don't feel you need to learn these tabs from the very, very beginning. But at some point, you know, even if it's just once a week, go ahead and explore the different tabs and what's there. Oh, I did want to add, sorry, at the very bottom of the page. At the very bottom, you'll find really kind of the two most important things. You'll find contact us, which is where you can get in touch with coach relations, customer service, compliance. It shows you who the sales team is for, you know, the different regions. Um, but save these phone numbers in your phone just so you've got, got them handy. Um, the emails... I wish they didn't do a click here. It used to just be coach relations at teambeachbody.com and then customer service at teambeachbody.com. And then, of course, too, this is where you can request a live chat with coach relations. It is available, as it says, 24-7. Um, and then scroll to the bottom again, and it's found. doesn't matter what page you are on. Just scroll to the bottom of any page, and you'll see these links down there. And then it's the FAQ. The FAQ can be your best friend. Um, so come here. I mean, popular answers, whatever. Um, but come here for whatever questions you might have. Um, and I can't think of one off the top of my head. But even let's see what happens when I punch in challenge pack. 